guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with our little clustery things that we made um, using our sort of fabric trims and flowers ready for um, making our ephemera for our junk journals. And what I thought we could do today is make some vintage style envelopes um, using our sort of ready-made ephemera pieces um, or ready-made embellishment pieces that we've got here. So what I have got here is some of my um, postcardy type stamps and I've also got my these are five by seven size envelopes um, so they're pretty much you know they're quite a standard size for card making and things like that over here in the UK anyway um, and they have all been coffee dyed well yeah they've all been coffee dyed I've just bought along sort of three of them to just have a play around with today and I've got my stays on ink so what I'm going to do is just start by stamping my postcard stamp on the em envelope itself so just going to stamp it you know you don't have to worry too much if it doesn't turn out in the middle that's fine we're just trying to get a bit of a bit of pretty stuff going on on our envelope so there we go like that and then I've got a different one here so I'll do a different one on another envelope so they're not all looking the same. And this is just one of my crafty individual stamps. So i just swap the envelopes out. And in fact, I'll do this in a different colour. So we'll use brown, I think, for this one. So we've just got a bit more, bit more of a different look again. So I'm just stamping this up and I'm going to just stamp it onto my bookcase just to check I'm getting a good stamped impression because I haven't used this stamp for a little while so yep looks like it's coming out well I'll just do it once more like that okay and then I'm ready to stamp that just on my envelope just wanted to check my envelope was going to be up the right way round. I didn't want another disaster like those um, flippy notebook things that I did that were inspired by Edith at Scrapbooking With Me. If you watched that video a few weeks back, wow, I just did three of them and two of them were completely upside down. Just goes to show, doesn't it? If you're chatting away, not really focusing on what you're doing, they're going to just end up any, any way up. So we've got that one there. And then for the final one, what I thought we could do, so let me just try and tidy as we go. For the final one, what I've got is I've got this huge swirly stamp. Now I've had this for years and years, so it's pretty much permanently attached to this stamp block. You probably can't even see it. It was from a set in Hobbycraft. I'm pretty sure they don't do this anymore. Although I feel like I have seen it like somewhere else so it's maybe been picked up you know somewhere else but isn't that lovely so I thought the third envelope we could do that one and it probably doesn't matter which way round those swirls are but actually I'm going to stamp it I think with the longer swirls down the bottom so we'll just stamp that there again you know not too worried if it's in the middle or not so or even if it's straight, because it's completely not straight. But, you know, that's fine. doesn't really matter. So we'll just move those things out of the way. Okay, right, sorry. Just now sitting back down in my seat. So I've got here again some other little bits and pieces to stamp around the edges and sort of just decorate them up with so they're not really plain. So I've got this lovely scripty stamp. I'm going to stamp this around a little bit on here. So I'm just going to, again, just on the book page first. So I'm just going to just randomly stamp a little bit, you know, just in some random places. Don't want it looking really uniform or anything like that. You just want a bit of, you know, random stamping everywhere. And then again, just on the back, a little bit of random stamping, maybe on the flap as well. And again, just, you know, with the flap 
closed probably a little bit there as well so we'll try and keep to sort of one probably now so that's that one and obviously this has been coffee dyed but I'm just going to ink it up as well so we just go around the edge with a bit of ink just so it looks really vintage I mean this one you can probably see is very screwed up looking um i mean that just is the luck of the draw when you're you know the luck of the draw most most um walks of life you wouldn't want things screwed up would you but i mean obviously for this type of thing the more screwed up the better in some ways because it then looks very vintage and old but um yeah i mean i was just lucky with this one in particular that this has turned out quite screwed up these ones obviously were done in the same batch they just didn't get so screwed up i mean they've all been ironed so this one included it has been ironed believe it or not but it's still got that crumpled look to it so you know which i think is is great so um yeah so sorry that i keep on bashing the table i'm really struggling because it's very very hot up here today um so i'm fidgeting around on my chair really a lot but i do apologize for keep bashing into the table Right, so I'm just going to pop, I think, a bit of book page somewhere. So maybe, maybe over there or maybe just down here, actually. So just glue some book page on. You know, we're just trying to put some things for some interest, really. So a bit of book page down there. And then what would be quite good, I think, is something scripty. So again, I'm just going to pull in my my little um, tray of scraps. And actually, as luck has it, I've just got this scripty, scripty piece here. To be honest, I mean, that's just pure fluke because I didn't remember that I had that. And that just worked out just perfect for what I was wanting. So just going to stick that down here. I mean, obviously that's going over where I've stamped. You know, that's fine. Because obviously when I stamped, I didn't really know, you know, where I might be sticking things. So we'll just pop that one down there. And let me just get my little card out to just press that down a bit. Like that. And then I'm just going to trim that up from the back. Like that. And we'll just ink that up a bit again sort of just going over those bits that we've now stuck on so they're you know more seamless into the envelope i feel like i could do with something else over here so perhaps just a little bit of the scripty piece just maybe here could even have it sort of upside down really not not upside down but <laughs> to the side down a bit more right so I'm just going to glue that there okay just pop that down Oops. and then I'm just going to cut this bit here Again, just so it's sort of not overhanging the envelope, really. And then again, just going to ink that up here, like that. Okay, so they look really nice, don't they? And then let's have something else. So we could have like a number or something on here. That's quite nice, isn't it? I'm just having a look, you know, a glance over whilst I'm doing this to see what what of our pieces you know I'm going to use on here actually I'm quite drawn to this one I think would be really nice so let's just decide where we're going to have it and then you know can decorate the rest like accordingly uh, that's quite nice and I've got some stamps here so just see uh, they're all quite orange I don't know whether I've got any that are going to be brown enough you know to tie more in with that flower mm. well actually that's not too bad I thought that was going to look really terrible but actually it's not not too bad so yeah maybe that one what's this one here 
maybe that. So let me just pop these back into here. So we could have, oh gosh, I can't see now which way, which way is the right way up for these stamps. So they're just going to be upside down. I mean, that doesn't matter. Sometimes you do get letters where the stamps are upside down, don't you? But I mean, obviously it probably would be better if they were the right way up. Uh, right. Just having a look to see what other little pieces I've got. So let me just tear this down. It's so hot up here, honestly. Oops. Let me tear this one down because maybe I don't want it quite so, you know, straight. So these are from my numbers set two ephemera pieces. So again, let me just ink these up. Just so they look a bit more raggedy. So we could have it something like that. What do you think? What does everyone think to that? Quite like it. Well, I'm going to stick the stamps down, I think, and then I'm just going to play around with those numbers and decide which way round I want the numbers. So just pop this one down here oh again it nearly went upside down okay oh you know what i forgot actually i did think we could have some doily on here somewhere so perhaps i need to add a bit of doily I prefer the numbers that way round. Yeah, definitely prefer the numbers that way round. Uh, right, let me just pull in, pull in some doily if I can see it now. Mm, no, I don't know whether I can. No, I just seem to have the doily, the coloured doily. So I'm not going to do that after all. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Just going to trim this crochet lace down a bit so it's a bit more, you know, raggedy. And then I'm just going to sort of, you know, scraggly up the, the edge there. So it's, you know, much more scruffy to put on. Yeah, I like it like that. So I'm just going to put this one down here. Just ink up these stamps now, they're stuck down. Now I'm just going to ink up this lace piece now. Just decide where we want the lace. Oh, maybe here. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So let's pop the number down. Just here. Now this again, I'm just going to pop some glue in the layers because where it's just stapled, I just want to make sure it's, you know, held firm and not coming up anywhere. So we just glue those, you know, few layers down like that. And again on this side now, oops, like that. And then we're just going to glue the number down. Number? Flower. The flower down, sorry. Oh, the heat's obviously just getting to me. I'm now going completely mad. Oh, you've made a bed for your baby, have you? That's really super nice, isn't it? So I'm just going to then pop this lace down here okay oh I can't wait to see it so 
So we're going to pop that down there like that. And then, right, do we want anything in the middle of the flower? Because we could have like a pearl or something in there. So let me just grab my flat back pearls. They've all come off of the sticky backing, so they're now just like floating about. But now, do we like it better with the pearl or without the pearl? Take it off. I mean, to be honest, I really like it, you know, both ways. I'm not, yeah, I don't necessarily have preference. So I'm going to go for it and put the pearl in. Like that. And then the only other thing that actually I forgot to do here was I didn't stamp the postmark so just going to stamp that over there and I've used the brown on this one so I'm going to just stick with the brown I mean to be honest this is that timber brown stays on it's not particularly um you know light it's very dark so I mean actually it doesn't look a great deal different to the black I could have got away with using black so that's that gorgeous envelope, which looks beautiful, doesn't it? And then just on this side, again, we're just going to, for a bit of continuity, kind of pop a couple of bits on here. So again, I'm just going to put a bit of book page down there. Again, just ink that up now a little bit. And again, just maybe a little bit of that scripty Oh, you're making it with tools. Well done. She stumbled across, um, you know, some tools from when my, or oh, when her brothers were younger. Um, <laughs> goodness knows, you know, they've obviously not been played with for years and years, but we're just kind of in with all the junk from the toy kitchen. So uh, she's she's using the tools now to build to build the bed they're just plastic you know plastic screwdrivers and what have you they're not dangerous or anything but um yeah so we just pop this here yeah i'm looking forward to seeing it sweetheart like that okay oops that's very lopsided that one but never mind it doesn't really matter and then on the flap, again, I'm thinking kind of doily would be really good. So I might have to actually stop the camera and go and get some if I haven't got any right here beside me in my little bag, which I'm not sure that I have because I might have actually used it all now. Because, you know, go through doilies like anything, don't we? In our junk journals, we're just constantly going through doilies. So... Uh, Oops. No, again, I've got green, I've got pink, all these different ones that I food coloured. Do I have any coffee dyed? No, of course I haven't. Because it's the usual thing, isn't it? You've got everything but, oh, here we go. I was going to say everything but the one thing that you need, but here we go. Right. That was good. That was good because I couldn't really be bothered to go and get some. I mean, it's literally like two seconds from where I'm sat, but it's so hot. I just couldn't be bothered to get off my chair. Right. Okay. So I'm going to pop that down there. I'm going to use the fabric tack and I'm just going to kind of spot it, you know, spot the fabric tack around just in any bits that have got filled in sections. Okie dokie. Don't have much patience for like, you know, really being precise but that will do that will do like that again just press that down now with my dry wipe and then just get that piece of doily off at the corner now i'm thinking this probably needs a bit of inking up to make it a bit darker i hope i don't now smudge all the glue around and look really awful but Okay, well that's not too bad, is it? So, yeah. 
like how that looks. Might just do another little bit of scripty stamping there because obviously I've, you know, gone over everywhere where we've done the script. So I'm just going to put some here like that. Okay, so that looks good. And then what else could we have on here? Maybe, look. I've actually got some of my numbers that I've done onto book page, which oh, I don't know now. Well, I didn't do them onto book page, sorry. I did them onto, um, you know, the see-through labels and then I printed the, uh, stuck the see-through label onto book page. Yeah, just to, just to clarify there, I didn't print them onto book page, although I have seen that done, not necessarily with my numbers, but you know, with other things. And that also looks so awesome. So that's again, another thing on my list of things to do. It's just a case of time to do all these, you know, amazing fun craft things that we all want to do, isn't it? You know, we'd all like to just be doing all these different things all the time. I think it's my Amazon delivery. Got some more paper arriving from Amazon. Daddy's getting it, darling, because he's downstairs. So. so that there, and then again, just going to sort of make my lace much more straggly. Like that. Again, just go along that top bit. Just, you know, cut into it a bit and, you know, just pull it up, about a bit. And then maybe have that there. I think it looks quite nice. Weirdly, it just kind of fell there, but didn't that look like the perfect spot for that. So again, just pop some lace on, uh, pop some glue onto those filled in parts. Like that. And we just then stick that down just there. So isn't that just the most gorgeous envelope? Super, super vintagey. And um, yeah, really, really scrumptious. And obviously used our lovely cluster there with our flower trim. So absolutely love how that looks. So that's that one. So let's move on and do one of the ones that we stamped the postcard stamp on. I think I used the black stays on for this. I mean, as I say, it really, you know, the brown is practically black, to be honest. You know, it's very, very minimal difference. But I will just, you know, for continuity, I'm just going to use the black. So again, I was going to use my favourite um, swirly stamp. I'll spare you using the same one again. I know, I just, you know when you just love something and it works? That's just how I feel about that stamp. I know it's a bit boring, but um, I, it's just, it's, it never fails me. Every time I see it, I still love it. Um, you know, just, yeah, I'm never fed up with that stamp. I could literally have that as my only stamp, I think, and I still would not be fed up with it. It's just the most divine stamp ever, I think. Right, okay, so I bought in a different swirly one because, yeah, I just didn't want to be really, really boring. So this is a different swirly one now. I just had a bit of a rummage in my little drawer. So again, I haven't used this for a while, so I'm just going to go over it. Make sure it's, you know, stamping well. I'll just do it again. Okay. Right, so it's coming out nicely now. Now, this one has got a little butterfly on, weirdly enough. And so sometimes when I stamp this in corners, I then realise, you know, I've stamped the butterfly upside down. I mean, that doesn't really bother me, to be honest, but... I guess it's just something, you know, to be a bit aware of, that sometimes they're, even on a swirl, there's a right and a wrong way. You know, can you see that little butterfly on there? As I say, I mean, it doesn't really worry me when he's kind of upside down, but I guess it would bother some people, so. I mean, I just personally think, you know, if a stamp's gorgeous, it doesn't really matter whether it's upside down, up the right way, you know, it's still going to look gorgeous, but... So I just take in just random parts of the stamp and just, you know, stamping them down the sides and 
across and things. And then I'm just going to do a bit of that in the back so it's, you know, similar. Again, some more on the flap here. Like that. And then just a bit here, I think. Maybe a bit there. Yeah. And then again, I'm just going to take, I was going to take the scripty stamp, but actually we've got this one, which I mean, obviously it is scripty, but it's also got sort of, I don't know, fleur de -lis type things. They're not fleur de -lis, but those types of patterns in it. So that might be quite nice to have a difference. Oops. So again, just stamping that off on my book page first and then we'll stamp that so like that and I'm just going to kind of put a couple of bits here around and then just maybe a couple of bits here on the back like that so yeah, that looks really nice. Maybe another piece up here, I think. So, just there in the corner. So, that just looks gorgeous. I mean, I do love stamps. You know, I know you've probably all heard me say it, you know, a hundred times, but I just think there's such gorgeous ways to add things, you know, to your pieces, you know, and just never really get fed up with using stamps. So, just going to ink around here now with my vintage photo making it look really nice and grungy I mean like I said obviously this has been coffee dyed so you know it's quite grungy anyway um, but this just all adds to the character doesn't it you know the inking up of the edges it just just adds more dimension and more character to it so just like that okay and then just going to get into the flap there and then a little bit here and just round those edges okay right now let's pick the cluster that we're going to have on here because I guess that's going to then determine you know what we're going to then be doing with the envelope oh I have to say that one's quite nice isn't it yeah do you like that or should we go for something, you know, brighter and more dramatic? Maybe like this green, because that's really nice, isn't it? We could have a couple of green stamps. I mean, I don't really need an excuse to use green. I love green. So, um, I do love green, don't I? It's my favorite color. I do. It's my favorite, my favorite color. Yeah, yeah. I just love it. It's my favourite colour. My absolute favourite. Oh, violet's very pretty too, isn't it? Well, violet is pretty too. Well, that's nice too. I mean, to be honest, there's so many nice colours, it's actually hard to choose, isn't it? Maybe dark colours, you know, you grow grow on you as you get older. Right. Um, most greens. I'm just trying to think. The green that I don't really like is British Racing Green, which you maybe don't know really what that is, but. Oops, I do like greens on, yeah, lots of different cars, but not those dark British Racing Green sort of cars. I'm not keen on those, but yeah, I pretty much love green. So this looks quite nice and striking to have that splash of green on there is like, wow. 
really 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 pretty so um yeah what a treat to be able to use that so let's have a look and see what else we're going to put down here so i'm just having a look around my gosh i have just got well you name it it's here on my desk so i don't really have to look too far to find something to pop on here um i've got those linen pieces these are the ones from daisy's doilies just wondering whether I could use this at all. Not sure that that's quite right. Uh, let me just have another look in my little scraps box. Just see whether I've got anything. Anything here. Pull that one out. Just feels like it's getting hotter and hotter up here. Honestly, it's just stifling today. And I know that I just always say this, but honestly, it's because I'm filming ahead. So if the weather's atrocious today in the UK, I'm not lying. But as I'm filming this video, it's absolutely boiling. Literally boiling. I know, it's because I've been filming ahead, so these videos aren't going out on the same day. Well, turquoise is a nice colour, isn't it? Yeah. Turquoise is a nice colour. Right, let's just have a look. Yeah. Uh, right, so I've got some sheet music here. Um, um, this is just down behind me. It's there waiting, waiting for something else as soon as I get time. So that's the problem. Everything's always waiting, isn't it? Waiting for something else. So, uh, yeah. Let me just bring this in. Oh, actually, this is a better colour. I thought maybe it would look better with this, but I think it looks better with the with the paler. So yeah, it was a little bit much. I think and it's really dark. Right, let's have a look. Right, I need to do something down here. I don't want it to look really, you know, like it's got things in all four corners. That's a bit of a weird look. So I'm just deciding how I'm going to organise everything on here, you know, to avoid that sort of weird look. I want it to look a bit more eclectic than that, um, which at the moment I'm struggling a little bit to achieve that look. Um, See what else I've got. Okay. Uh, um, I mean, I have got some green labels. They're not really green enough, to be honest. But they're not doing justice to the green of the flower because that green is like, wow, just like stunning colour. Really, really stunning. So, uh, yeah, I don't necessarily think that that's quite cutting the in the mustard. Uh, what about that? Uh, let me just cut this down. Hold on. And just have a little strip. That's a weird expression, isn't it? Cutting the mustard. Oh, it's, yeah, I know it's weird, isn't it? I never really say that but occasionally that's just how to sum it up. It's just meaning it's not quite working. That's just not quite working. Funny way to say it, huh? Funny way to say it. That's not quite working for you either. So you could say, oh, this isn't quite cutting the mustard, couldn't you? Right, so we've got that there. Got my flower, got my stamps. Now. What if we have just a tiny piece here? Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I quite love that. So just going to ink this up here. 
and then if we have that there so I'm going to glue these stamps down because I like those where they are and then that one there yeah I never say that expression cutting the mustard but I do love mustard although weirdly the other day um, we were in Aldi which again I know that's everywhere in Europe I don't know whether that's in America or not um, you know but it's a store that we have here anyway and they have this small section of kind of like healthy foods you know and sort of a bit of vegan things and things like that so they'd introduced these new um, they're like pea peas things and they call them delish and um, they're peas I can't remember now whether they called them I can't remember to be honest but they, yeah, they did call it delish, but oh my goodness me, they're quite nice. They're quite nice, but my gosh, they are so spicy. They have a mustard flavour, which, you know, of course, you have to be a bit of a fan of mustard to like them, which, you know, <laughs> I'm not saying that everybody would like them, but I do really like mustard. So, you know, the first couple I had, I mean, they were a little bit, whoa, these are weird. Um... But once you got into them, they were actually really nice, except they are so strong. Now, I'm not sure whether we just had a, you know, a duff packet or whether they're all that strong. They were so strong, you could literally only have about nine of them. And then it was like, well, my whole face feels like it's like on fire. You know, mustard kind of gets up your nose. They were like that. So had to obviously then stop eating them, um, you know, for another day. But yeah they're really really nice if you like mustard and definitely you know if you're happy to not eat too many of them because my gosh they are blow your head off strong i mean not in a sort of spicy curry spice type way but in a mustard you know like when you breathe it kills your your um nasal passage way but yeah they were really really strong but you know nice nice but whoa there you know take care when you're eating these yeah I don't know whether that was just a bad batch and they just really overdid the flavoring or whether they're always going to be that strong but I'd be intrigued if anyone could actually eat them to be honest you know more than just a few or perhaps that's their tactic is to you know to um help with kind of portion control because of course you know you wouldn't be able to sit and eat them for long so it's one way of stopping you endlessly eating them I guess which you know that's probably not a bad thing but now I've got this other piece of fabric so I'm wondering whether I could have that sort of anywhere else let me just ink this up oh thank you darling So I'm just having a look to see whether I would have that there. Not sure. Not sure. I love this piece here, so I'm going to just stick this one down. So we just pop this one down here. I mean, I guess we could have kind of the lace, you know, more like that rather than... Because I didn't really want it looking like it's in a line, if you see what I mean. You know, just across the bottom of the page. That just looks a little bit strange to me. And then we could have that there or... Right there. Well, I quite like it in both places, I think, now. I'll just check. Right, let's, let's commit to some of this stuff, shall we? So let me just pop this down. Okay. Like that. And then, and then this, I think, up there. Or could we have it sort of more like a little tab or something on the envelope? Is that really strange? 
probably a bit strange, although weirdly I quite liked it, but. Okay. Put that down. That's really pretty, isn't it? Now, again, do we want to have like a flat back pearl in the middle of that flower? Let's just have a look. Yeah, that just finishes that off really nicely, doesn't it? So just put that in there like that. We think where would we like the diamante? I think down here somewhere. Let's just have it sort of along the bottom. Just right, I'm just going to go wherever my hand pits it now. As long as it's vaguely on the middle, or sorry, vaguely on the bottom, it's just where it goes. There we go, there it is. It's just getting all those blue threads off. There we go. That looks really nice now. Um, I'm just thinking whether I need any sort of number. I'll just try this one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I might have a bit much over there in that corner now, so maybe I'll just take that off. Let me just ink this up. Maybe we'll have it here or something. Do I look like I've just got like things going off on, you know, directly opposite each other? I'm not sure. Maybe that's weird. going to leave it like that and so on the other side we'll put the number I think on the other side and obviously we've got the rest of that fabric so I'm just going to ink this up okay oh good girl Wow, I'm sure it must be super nice. So we're going to have it like that and maybe a little bit of sheet music. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, darling. Beautiful. It's really nice. All of your toys are so lucky because you make such nice things for them, don't you? Not right now, please, darling. Thank you, sweetie. Right. Just quickly tear this along. So I'm just going to pop this here. Honestly, I've got things stuck all over me, can you tell? I'm just <laughs> stuck all over my hands. Let me just put those numbers there. Oops, oh my gosh. Those ones there, then this one. I mean, I quite like that there, weirdly. Um, now, did we ink up that lace? Yeah, we must have done. So I'm just wondering, just wondering whether we could have another bit of lace, but much more straggly somewhere. Good girl, that's a really good idea. Oh, do you want to tidy up all of your craft things now, sweetheart? Good girl. Okay. 
So I'm wondering whether I could have it kind of like that. And then I just wonder whether we could have some sort of pretty dangle or something there. So let's have a look and see what I've got in the way of things that we could use. So, mm -hmm. uh, right, let me have a look behind me where I've got some of my little tiles that are ready to use. So that's a nice one. Oh, that one is quite nice. Yeah, maybe that one actually. I feel like the green one is the, you know, the, uh, what's the word? Predictable one, you know, the safe one. And just sometimes you just want to do something a bit more unpredictable, not, not the safe thing. Now, the only thing is, this is very big. I wonder whether I could cut this down. Now, I've never tried cutting anything that's been glossy accented before. Who knows? Maybe I will regret it. Oh, it's cut all right, actually. I did not think that was going to work, but it worked okay. So there's a little lesson that we've all learned. A little bit better. I think you've still got a bit more to do. And I'm just going to grab my stays on again. And it looks like this has been stays on around the edge in brown, actually. So just go around that a bit more. Like that. Back there, and then right. So, if we're going to have like that, and then have this, I think just hanging off. I was going to say with a bulb pin, but actually, maybe we'll just have that glued on. I think it's quite nice. So, right, let's go down, run the glue down here. that piece of fabric I love how this so sorry about that my daughter's obviously tidying up her stuff now and it's all kind of dropping a little bit so terribly sorry about the noise okay so we've got that and then this one here and then my tile I'm going to actually have I think on the end so oops Stuck the flap down there now. <laughs> right, so going to have the tile on the end. So I'm just going to hot glue the whole tile and then we can just pop that straight on there. And then it's, you know, it's just instant. It's stuck. So we don't have to worry about it or anything. Like that. Do we need anything else on here at all? Um, we have got these big flowers actually, which to be fair, these big flowers actually, they look really good because they sort of match that, um, that fabric. So I'm thinking we could, we could have these here on the cover or is that like a step too far now? We just stand back, take them off. Put them on. Mm -hmm. Or we could have them on the back, which maybe is better. Yeah. I think maybe on the back is better. So I'm going to just pop them on the back. So let's just... Now I'm going to obviously have a problem getting these to stick down because, of course, it's very lumpy now on the other side from that flat back pearl. But we'll just try our best to stick this down. And hopefully it will stick down okay-ish. like that and then just get my wipe right so I mean yeah obviously it's a bit of a problem trying to stick this down when it's so lumpy but it's you know it's not too bad so perhaps just try pressing it try pressing it from the other side would be a bit easier and the only other thing that I just realized that I haven't done yet I didn't stamp my postmark stamp over there so I'm just going to do that, just to cross the stamps. So there we go.
there we go so that's that one so I love how they turned out so that's that one and obviously they're just all incorporating those gorgeous little clusters so you know ready-made embellishments and things for your junk journals and turning them into just absolutely gorgeous pieces of ephemera and um, you know like vintage kind of heirloom type envelopes so I hope that you like them and um, you know maybe gave you some ideas of you know how to use yours if you made some along with me so thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'll all join me again soon um, stay safe everybody and have a fantastic day thanks then bye